James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you an acoustic version of When I Come Around by Green Day and this song uses the most common strumming pattern ever G, D, E minor, C You'll find that in a ton of songs. I did a separate lesson on it where we go through the most common strum or uh, chord progressions ever. And this one you can play tons of songs with. So you'll be able to do a lot with this. If along the way you need any extra help, there's my free ebook. It's completely free for all my subscribers. It goes over all the fundamentals of rhythm guitar. You know, the chords, the strumming. It'll help you learn to switch between just like two chord shapes at a time and build up, you know, and get from being an absolute beginner to being a confident strummer. So please check that out if you'd like some extra help. Otherwise, we're just gonna jump right in with the chord shapes. We start off with G. Then we switch to D. And for that switch from G to D, I can leave my ring finger down. So G, I leave my ring finger down. Now I want you to get used to pivoting off that finger if you're having trouble making the switch. That's a really good way to do it. Then we go to E minor. And when I'm making the switch from D to E minor, I leave my ring finger down so I can feel where I am. I don't have to look at my hands that way. Then I can grab the E minor shape and then I can let go with my ring finger and I just have my E minor. Then I go to the C chord. And for E minor to C, I can leave my middle finger down. You know, I, have to, I still have to pay attention to where my thumb is, move my elbow around a little bit when I switch to C. You know, you want to make sure that your support system is going, your shoulder, your back, everything, you know, so that you're not just putting all the pressure on your hands and making them do all the work. And then from C, we go back to G. And for C to G, there is no trick, really. We just have to make that change a whole bunch. I like to plan out the order. So I go one, two. You know, I put down these two fingers on the thicker strings first, and then these two. Or you could do the reverse order, one, two. The whole point is to be consistent for a while, you know, a week or two. And if you find it's not working, change the order and be consistent again. You know, it's all about the, going through the motions thousands of times. You know, that's the best way to, it's the only way. It's not what everybody wants to hear, but it's definitely the way to be able to do it. Anyways, that's our progression. Just those four chords. There is an A minor chord in there later, but we'll figure it out when we need it. So I want you to practice switching between those silently. Just going G, switching to D, switching to E minor, switching to C, and then back to G, and just going through it over and over again, getting the motions down. And once you're getting comfortable with that, we can play the chords with down strokes only. Just we can count them out, play them for the right amount of times. Starting off on G, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, So get comfortable with the progression, playing it smoothly, making smooth transitions. Then we can add the strumming pattern to it, which it goes like this. I'll do it slowly. One, two, three, four. And the best way to learn that is to break it down into two parts. We start off going down, root, three. And root just means to aim for the thicker strings of that chord shape. You know, it's, it's still a downstroke, but it's just a little downstroke that just adds a little bit of dimension to our strumming in a really simple way. So we count out loud, down, root, three, four, down, root, three, four. And we just play it like that over and over again, counting three, four, out loud, so we have a nice 
four beat unit, you know, because our strumming pattern is going to, the whole song is four beats at a time. Then we can practice the second half of that pattern. And it's really simple. We just go one, two, down, down, up, one, two, down, down, up, one, two. Once you've practiced each half, we can put it all together. Three, four, down, root, down, down, up, down, root, down, down, up. And before we flesh out the exact rhythm of the song, I want to take that strumming pattern and try it on our chord progression a couple times. Starting off on G, one, two, three, four. Once you're comfortable with that, we can finish up the rhythm because it really goes like this. We play our pattern on G, on D, and then for E minor and C, we're going to exclude a few beats. We're going to go one, two, switch, four, one, two, three, four. This whole E minor to C thing. I want to go through all the motions and, and really take our time with that. We have our E minor chord, we go one, two, we mute and switch on beat three, then four, one, two, three, four. I want you to just take a look at that and go through the motions just like that. One, two, switch, four, one, two, three. Four, you know, doing it nice and slow. A oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, switch. Four, one, two, three, four. We're doing it slow and steady. You know, we're going through the motions, then we're adding the counting to it really slowly. And then once you're comfortable with that, we can do it a little bit faster. I'm actually going to get out my metronome here because this is how you practice stuff like that. I'm at 80 beats per minute. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, again, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you could incorporate those first two chords with the strumming pattern going one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, mute, four, one, two, three, four, back to the start. One, two, three, four. And once you're comfortable with it, nice and slow, you can try to speed it up a little. Let's just go up like 25%. One, two, three, four. So that's how I want you to approach this tune, you know, breaking it down into those little components, going step by step, adding one little thing at a time and building up into the final product. Now that is like, I don't know, 80% of the song. The other section is and that's really straightforward. We have an A minor chord. And then we go into C, which just requires one finger to be moved. You know, so we have A minor, and then we move our ring finger. We have to do a little bit of adjusting, you know, to make sure that it's nice and comfortable. We have our C chord. And there's no fancy rhythm for this stuff. We play our strumming pattern two times on A minor, two times on C, two, two times on A minor. Then we do it 
one time on C, and the final measure, we just go one, and then we mute our strings, or we stop our strings. So one, two, three, four. You know, it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna play through the chorus really slowly. You can always just see what's going on and then try it with me after, or you could just jump in right away, starting off on A minor. One, two, three, four. So work your way through that as many times as you need to. And now I want to put together our verse using our, you know, our normal chord progression, play our chorus, and then transition back into our verse, just so you can get used to that transition between the two sections. And once you can do that, you're 100% capable of playing through this entire song, because we just repeat the main chord progression a whole bunch, play the chorus every once in a while. We'll, we'll discuss all that in a sec. Let's practice this with our metronome. Oh, one, two, three, four. So when it comes to putting this entire song together, we start off with our chord progression three times, that's our intro. Then we play our chord progression eight times for the first verse. We play the chorus once. Then we have an instrumental, which is our chord progression two times. Then there's verse two, which is our chord progression eight times. We have another chorus. There's an instrumental where we do our progression twice, a guitar solo where we do our progression twice, another chorus, and then an outro, which is just our chord progression four times. So I want you to write that all down and listen to the original recording, just to get to start building up that idea of keeping your place in the song. Now, if you want to try playing along to the original recording, you have to tune your guitar down a half step. That's a really common thing that a lot of people do, especially in rock. You take your thickest string, which is normally E, and then you tune it down until it says E flat or D sharp, you know, and then you do that for all the strings. I'll make a separate video for tuning down into half step tuning, just because it's a whole thing. It'll take a little while, but that's what you do if you want to play along with the original recording. Um, just to make it a little bit more convenient for you, if you want to play along with the entire song, I've played it in standard tuning and that's on my Patreon page. And we play through the entire song from start to finish with the melody. And uh, yeah, that's available for members of my Patreon page. I'll put a link for that down below. If you need any extra help, don't forget there's my free ebook, which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. I also have my complete beginner's course, which is like a guided tour through all of that, taking you from an absolute beginner and turning you into a confident strummer. So please check that out if you need any extra help and if you'd like to help support the channel. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see future lessons like this. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.